Today, we need to talk about cases because there's all different kinds of news and stories and hot takes and things being thrown out uh, about one of the most interesting asset classes in all of the Counter-Strike 2 markets. Obviously, uh, people have made a lot, a lot, and I mean a lot of money with cases throughout the last like eight seven, five, however many years of Counter-Strike, you know, cases at one point were three cents. And now you have cases that are $2, $5, $80, whatever. Um, but as of late, you can see here, a lot of cases have been getting absolutely killed. This is the recoil case down 40% in just the last month, which is absolutely insane. This has a lot of people panicking, a lot of people worrying. And like I said, a lot of people throwing out some hot takes that are some of them smart, some of them not so smart, and there's even tons of bad news and regulatory news and all this different stuff going on. So many different things we need to talk about about cases. We're going to make sense of that all in this video today, or at least attempt to. Hopefully, we're going to do our best. Uh, but first, uh, let me plug my cash trading business. If you guys are looking to sell any of your CS2 items, uh, maybe you're looking to sell a bunch of items in bulk, maybe you're even looking to cash out your entire inventory, hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. My trade link is also going to be the second link in the description below. If you want to maybe offer me a trade or something like that, I'm sure we can work something out. But I I can help you guys turn your CS items into cold hard cash. Any payment method that you're looking for, we can get something done. I'm buying a lot of stuff between 85 and 90% buff. Maybe you just want to get some IRL money. Maybe you want to get some cash to buy some different items, whatever. We can work out a deal, safe, efficient, effective, all that good stuff. Uh, hit me up and we can work something out. With that being said, let's get right into this. So one of the first things that I want to talk about was this uh, video that I watched from Anomaly on his Clips channel, Anomaly Clips. He says, this country is also banning CS2 cases because there's, like I said, a lot of bad news and a lot of regulatory stuff going on. That's part of why we see cases, I think, going down. Now, is it the entire reason why recoil cases are down 40% in the past month? No, but it's definitely not a good thing. It's definitely scaring some people and definitely scaring the markets in some ways. So I know a couple of weeks ago, we had the story where the guy, uh, I can't remember what country it was in uh but you know he had like spent a bunch of money on cases then um he ended up like getting the money back through some kind of lawsuit or whatever happened um from his country and i know they're gonna have to change some things i'm sure they're not gonna let that happen again uh, from the valve side or the counter-strike side or whatever but um this is even something different entirely where anomaly said this swedish article um about investigating loot boxes and skins this year this is translated so this might not be exactly perfect english i believe it's translated from swedish i don't know uh but I, I saw in the video, he like translates it. It's in some other language before, but they're talking about Sweden in this video. This year, loot boxes and skins will be reviewed by the public health authority. The phenomenon in the video games is said to have clear connections to problem gambling. We have requested that these issues be included more clearly in the gaming mission, uh, says uh, one of the guys at the public health authority in a press release. So... Again, this is going to be something to watch out for. We already have a couple of countries that have banned skins entirely. We have whatever the heck is going on in France with like the x-ray skins or the x-ray uh, cases and stuff like that. Um, being able to, to look into cases before you actually have to purchase them and stuff like that. Um, so there are different kinds of regulatory issues. Obviously, we know um, that the CS2 world has had a ton of um, issues and kind of scandals and different things like that to do with gambling or loot boxes or case openings. Um, and and obviously, at some point, Valve is getting so big and there's so much money involved in this and there's so much money being thrown around and, and there's children involved and underage people and all this different stuff. So these are a lot of things that Valve and CS2 is going to have to watch out and be careful for. And... Uh, I mean, at some point, more and more countries in Europe are investigating this, looking into this, putting regulations in place, banning it, whatever. And at some point, um, when you're the countries that aren't doing that stuff, maybe some people are going to be pointing fingers at you or looking at you or whatever. So again, when one country bans it or a couple countries add some stipulations or whatever, it's not that big of a deal. But as more and more countries in Europe and more and more big countries in the world be, uh, continue to crack down, eventually, um, the ones that aren't doing anything are going to be the weird ones or the odd people out or whatever, and they're going to have more questions and fingers pointed at them. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on. But at the same time, I do think that, hey, cases are probably going to be around to last. And until we hear something absolutely insane, like, uh, you know, cases are uh, not going to be a part of CS2 anymore, case investing isn't going to be possible, or all these countries are just going to completely ban cases. In a lot of ways, I would say this is weirdly maybe good news, especially for long-term case investors, because FUD or, um, you know, negative news or whatever that isn't going to completely wipe out cases 
is going to drop prices. And eventually in the long run, these things will still be insane investments because again, people love opening cases. Uh, people are going to continue ripping them open, especially as the game gets more popular and we get more content and all this stuff. And a lot of these rare cases are going to continue to get older and rarer and all that good stuff. So the price is dropping in the short term is going to increase your long-term gains. Um, so I know we see this all the time with stocks. We see all this all the time with crypto uh, and Bitcoin and stuff like that. There's some terrible, horrible news story and people act like Bitcoin is never going to exist. And then the price drops and then, Hey, guess what? A year or two or five years later, Bitcoin's still around. And now the price has 10 X since then. I could see something very, very similar like this happening with cases. Now, obviously there is the risk of uh, the case system as we know it fundamentally changing at some point in the future, but I don't think it's happening anytime soon. So for the time being, when I see something like, Hey, recoil case is down 40% or I see something like, Hey, the Prisma two case is down 25% in the past month. Uh, and I believe you can get them as low as like 48 or 50 cents or something like that on buff. Hey, this to me presents a really, really awesome buying opportunity because obviously this case is a great item. The Prisma 2 case is even after this dip still up 294% in the past year. Uh, and people love opening this case. People are going to continue to, to love opening this case. And like I said, the supply is only going to dwindle. It's only going to get more rare. Um, so in some ways, yes, this bad news can be scary and it can scare the markets, but people who are there to buy the dip are, are going to be able to take advantage of things like this. And I know that I know that's what I said. I said, Hey, nice. Glad to see cases getting shit on even more by the dip. Now, on one hand, I'm a cash trader and I buy a lot of cases and uh, hey, my cash trading business is hurting in that regard and my investments are hurting in that regard as well because I'm also an investor who uh, owns a decent amount of cases and seeing that go down and down and down sucks uh, and on the cash trading side, obviously I'm going to lose a decent amount of money. I'm not going to be able to re recoup some of that money, but the investor side of me who wants to buy the dip and is going to hold these cases for a year, two years, five years, whatever... I do think that these are very, very awesome opportunities. Now, I know the common reply is stuff like this. Everyone says stuff like this, but it's going to dip even more. Uh, why not just wait? And what I say is, hey, we don't know if it's going to dip more. We don't know what's going to happen. And if you buy now when you're down 25%, some of the, you know, some really, really great items and cases were down 25% in the past month, and it does dip more, then you can buy more. You should have a way to continue to allocate funds into your portfolio and stuff like that. So, hey, if I buy Prisma 2 today at whatever, uh, 50 cents, and it drops to 40 cents next month, I can just buy more. I can continue to buy more and more, but there is also the possibility that something changes or prices stay flat, or we've already seen a huge drop, or maybe even prices have dropped too far unfairly or unnecessarily. And we see some kind of rebound. Again, you have something like uh, the recoil case here at 12 cents on buff. These things can only go so low. What are we going? We're going back to three cent cases. They're at 12 cents right now. And people are still like, no, I'm going to sell. And people are still like, no, I'm going to wait for the dip even more like what you want a 10 cent case you want an 8 cent case a 7 a 3 like I, I don't necessarily get it um so yeah I mean obviously I'm going to be actively buying cases right now I'm going to be buying the dip I'm going to be eating these things up now I know there is also some hot takes and weird stuff out there from um guys like Mercy I, I don't overall think this guy is very smart I think his tweets are I pretty much usually disagree with his takes and his tweets and stuff like that and I do kind of once again he says imagine thinking Valve wanted to make cases rare I guess charts are showing their intentions very clear now in my opinion cases are one of the riskiest investments going into CS2 not to mention a crowded a massive crowded trade now hey have cases gotten killed over the past couple months yes absolutely they have is it because of the care package changes and the way that uh, cases are dropping I don't think so. I kind of get what he's saying that we don't exactly know um, all the details and specifics about the drop rates and all that stuff. And, and obviously Valve changed things for a reason. And we know that cases were getting pretty expensive. And there is some incentive for Valve to make cases cheaper because as cases get cheaper, people are going to open up more and more of them. But at the same time, uh, Valve also has the uh, active duty drop pool where cases are always going to be cheap and they're going to be getting dropped for free and people are going to be buying uh, keys and stuff like that. So I don't really think Valve is too concerned about that, but they could. I think part of the problem was trying to get rid of all the, the bots and stuff that was happening for cases. Now, I don't really think that's worked either. I think there is still a lot of botting and stuff happening for cases. Um, but also at the same time, something like the recoil case is down 40% in the past month. And you can't say that recoil cases are now uh, getting dropped more often because of this new um, drop system or whatever, because that just doesn't even make sense. Because uh, in the previous system, you could get two cases dropped in a week and now you can only get one. Um, so I don't really understand this. I don't really get it. And again, to me, this is just more FUD. This is just a guy who is been a lot negative recently and yeah he's looked he's been right a lot of the times recently because things have not been going well but that doesn't mean that things are going to continue to do well you see that in the stock market too there's people who are continually negative and then sometimes they're right but hey in the long run um, they're going to be wrong more often than not as these things continue to do well and again as people hate on cases more and more and more and cases get shit on more and more and more and people are selling and negative and whatever on them that makes them an even better investment in the long term now I get it and I understand what he's saying that we don't exactly know all the specifics and that's going to create some 
uncertainty. That's going to create some extra risk. But to say that they're one of the riskiest investments going into CS2 is really strange to me um, because, again, you are literally, in a way, investing into like slot machines and gambling and stuff like that, kind of, which obviously uh, makes a ton of money and people love opening up cases. And people are going to continue to love opening up cases. Uh, and hey, uh, the entire market has not done good over the past couple months. It's not like just cases are getting shit on. Uh, I don't think it's because of the drop changes that cases have been going down. I think it's because everything has been going down. I think everything went up too much during the CS2 hype, and now everything is getting hit hard. And uh, the player base, uh, you know, is uh, it's been doing okay. Um, you know, we had uh, an increase in the player base in December. We were up 7.78%. But now in January, we've stayed flat. We've gone down 1%. We've, uh, you know, we're just kind of staying in the same places. But I do still think the good news here is that if you look from December 2022 to December 2023, we've added about 100,000 players. If you look at from January uh, 2023 to January 2024, we've added about 40,000 players. The game is still growing year over year. The game is, yes, uh, we're down from the peaks in May and June and July and all that stuff. And the prices are down from the peaks in May and June and July and stuff. But again, in the past year, Prisma 2 cases are up 250%. The player base is up year over year. Uh, to say that CS2 cases are one of the riskiest things out there to me just doesn't make a ton of sense. Um, but again, I love the people being overly negative. I love the people um, out there shitting on them. And I think you should be buying the dip. So again, even though there's a lot of negative news and a lot of negative opinions and a lot of people saying weird stuff, to me, that's not scaring me off. I'm going to be buying the dip. I'm going to be buying cases. Uh, and I think it's going to work out okay in the long run. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully, I catch you in the next one. But until then.